and today I want to talk about taking on the belief that everybody likes you and that people like you because if you have the belief that people don't like you then you're going to do certain actions that make that belief come true and it just becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy so this is something that I'm still working on and I kind of just always had this belief that people don't like me and because of this then I hold back from conversations and talking to people because I'm like well why would I talk to them because they don't like me right and but then if you don't talk to people then you're kind of giving them a reason not to like you because you're not even showing yourself to them and also when you do this you're rejecting yourself before other people can even reject you because you're being like well I shouldn't talk to them because they don't even like me and like there right there you just reject it yourself but instead if you think like oh they like me and then if you talk to them and then maybe you have a bad conversation and they're they're mean to you or whatever then you can be like okay fine they don't like me like obviously not everybody is gonna like you but you can't have this belief that everybody hates you and everybody doesn't like you so as an example i just moved to the beach for the summer with i'm living in a house with seven other girls and i've never met any of them before so some of them already knew each other but some of them kind of just met right so in the beginning when they were going out I they weren't asking me like oh do you want to come with us so I at first thought that was a little bit rude but also maybe they were thinking like because you don't know what other people are thinking so maybe they're just like well if she wants to come with us she'll just ask or maybe she doesn't want to go with us because that could also be kind of a rejection like they don't want to say to me oh do you want to come with us and then what if I say no then they're also going to feel rejected so then I just asked them, like, oh, can I go out with you guys? And so I did, and it was fun, and I went out with them other times, right? So the other day, I had come home from work, and they weren't here because it was, like, 9 o'clock, so a lot of them had already went out, right? So I texted in the group chat, like, where is everyone at? And at first, nobody was answering. Then my other roommate comes home, and she was also at work, a different job. And at first, I wasn't sure, like, when I got home, like, if she had already gotten home and then she went out with them or she was still at work and she didn't get home yet so then she gets home and to be honest I kind of was having the be these beliefs that she didn't really like me right but I was like no I'm believing that people like me and everything's okay right and we're just acting as if we're like bffs right so I was asking her like oh are you going out and so then I was like if you go out like I'll go with you and she's like okay like my friend's coming over from work and then we're gonna go out so you can come with us so then I ended up going out with them so then her friend comes over and I'm like talking to them like having a conversation with them just saying things that come to mind right and then I ended up having fun and then I felt as though like she did like me then right so if I had hold held on to that belief like she doesn't like me then I'm, I wouldn't have asked her oh can I go out with you and then I wouldn't have had a, been able to have a fun experience going out with her and her friends right but since I was like no I'm believing that she likes me so then I was like, oh, can I go out with you guys? And then I did and I had fun. So just try having that belief that people like you and see what actions you start to take, right? Even now, like I'll introduce myself more to people. Like if you just meet someone, like I'll introduce myself to them. Like, oh, like, hi, I'm Grace. What's your name, right? Nice to meet you. And like in the past, I didn't really do that. I'm kind of the person that's like, I'm not going to talk to you unless you talk to me first. Because it's kind of like, I don't want to get rejected. But then again, that's me rejecting myself because I'm like, I'm not good enough for you. Like, you don't even want to get to know me, so I'm not going to introduce myself to you. But if you have the belief of people want to get to know me and people like me, then you're going to be more likely to introduce yourself to people. And then once you introduce yourself to someone, then obviously you start talking to them more and just saying what comes to your mind, whatever you're thinking. And then that's going to make somebody actually like you because if you never talk to somebody, how are they going to like you, except for maybe based on, like, if you have really cool style and, like, you're really beautiful or whatever, they might like you based off of that. But just, like, if you're not talking to them and you're not able to show them your personality, you're not even giving them a chance to see if they like you or not. So I find thinking this way to help me with my confidence. And also, if you're telling yourself, like, people don't like you, obviously that's not going to make you feel good. And it's not even about, like, is this belief that people don't like me true or false? It's about, does this belief benefit me? Does this enhance my life? Obviously, this does not enhance your life and it does not benefit you. But if you think about, does having the belief that people like me benefit me and does it enhance my life? The answer to that is yes, because you're going to be more likely to put yourself out there and talk to people more. So you know when people say your thoughts create your reality? That's because your thoughts are influencing your actions and then your actions are creating your reality. So if you think good about yourself, you're going to talk to people more, you're going to show them your personality, show them the true you, which is lovable, 
the true you is the most lovable and then when you do that then you will find that people do like you and if you don't know what to say to people literally just say stupid random shit anything that you think can relate to the conversation you can compliment people like i even found myself like i'm just talking about like random things and i'm thinking like i'm talking so much but that's good it's better to be talking so much have somebody think you're annoying than to think you're quiet and you don't say anything and you're boring right and like i used to also i kind of i guess still do have this belief that people think i'm weird but then that again that's me blowing myself being like oh don't say this people are gonna think you're weird that's just me telling myself that i'm weird and you're bullying yourself before other people have the chance to do that so the other thing i've been telling myself is like let people tell you that you're weird make people tell you that you're weird do freaking weird shit and have people tell you that you're weird, right? You already tell yourself that you're, I don't know if you do this, but if you already tell yourself that you're weird, what does it matter if other people are gonna think that you're weird? Like you think that people think you're weird anyways, so you might as well just do what you wanna do and say what you wanna say and let them tell you that for yourself, themselves, but they're not even gonna tell you that because when you think that you're weird, it's actually you're cool and people actually think that you're cool. Another thing that helps is asking yourself, how can I have more fun? How can I make this situation more enjoyable to me, right? So for example, with last night, I'm home by myself, then finally my roommate comes home. How can I have a better night? I could ask her, oh, can I go out with you? And then I can go out with her and we can dance and whatnot, right? But if I'm thinking that she doesn't like me and I'm just thinking of how my life sucks, what was me, and I'm not thinking about how can I have more fun, I'm just gonna not do anything and I'm just gonna sit in my room, be bored and be by myself, right? But instead, if I'm believing that she likes me, and then I'm also thinking, how can I have more fun? Then I'll say, oh, let me go ask her if I can go out with her and let me go and hang out with her, right? And then, like I said previously, like I had thought that she didn't like me. Then when we went out, then I got to be more closer with her. And then I was able to feel like certain moments happen where I then felt like she did like me. So then my new belief started to come true. So I started making this video two days ago, but then yesterday and today I had more experience that shows me that thinking that people do like you actually will change your life for the better. So yesterday my one roommate comes home and she's with her friends and they're in like the living room and I'm in my room, right? In the past when I'm in the mindset of they don't like me, I'm just staying in my room and I'm not going out and I'm talking to them. But I'm like, no, they do like me and how can I have more fun tonight? So I went out there and I started talking to them. And so I was able to show them more of my personality and have like a bonding experience with them. And then one of the girls, because of what I was saying, was like, oh my God, like I love you, right? So then this morning they were going in the beach, right? And so I wake up because I hear them talking. In the past, I would be like in my room, wait for them to leave and then get up, right? Because I'm in the mindset of they don't like me and they don't want to hang out with me, right? But I'm like, no, they do like me. So then I went out there and I'm like, I'll go to the beach with you guys, but I gotta charge my phone because I woke up and it was dead. But I'll meet up with you. And then I met up with them and I was able to talk to them more and have more of like an experience and show them more of my personality. Then I'm talking to them about this guy and he wants to meet me at this place where they're gonna have live music. And so they're like, oh, we'll go with you. Like, and so now they wanna come with me and now they wanna hang out with me. So now I feel as though they do like me. So you just have to hold on to the belief that people do like you until it actually feels true for you. So even when I went out of the room to hang out with them, I still was believing that they don't like me, but I'm like, I can't think like this. And then even when I went to the beach, I still was kind of having those negative thoughts if they don't like me. But now today I'm actually starting to see that I think they actually do like me and like spend so time with me. So you just have to show people your personality and give them a chance. And I feel like sometimes you meet people and it's like an instant connection. So it wasn't like that, but that just because it's not instant connection doesn't mean that it's like not meant to be and you should just forget about them because sometimes you do have to try and I guess I was kind of holding myself back and not saying what I wanted to say but now I'm like if I think something then I'll just say it and when you do that then you will find that you'll have better conversation with people so now I finally feel as though we are friends and they do actually like me so try this out and see what happens because thinking negatively about yourself and being mean to yourself is just gonna make you have negative experiences and you're not gonna put your, yourself out there but when you start to think more positively of, positively of yourself, then you will actually put yourself out there and you'll see that people actually do like you. And if you have the belief that people don't like you, like it's probably because of, you know, maybe you had bad experiences with friends in childhood, like which is what happened to me. But just because you had like one bad experience or multiple bad experiences in the past doesn't mean that's what your future is and doesn't mean every single person in the world isn't going to like you, right? So just keep thinking that people do like you and it will become a positive self-fulfilling prophecy. Thank you so much for watching this. Please like and comment if you found this video helpful and let me know any other videos you want to see me make. Bye!